we have here 20 stations, each of which is a laptop and a speaker array. Each speaker array is six channels of sound. You put that together, that's 120 channels of sound, and that's spread out, in fact, here all over the garden. If you just walk 10 feet from you, you're in a totally different sonic space. Gu Wang is probably the only computer conductor in the world and created the programming language used. Each key represents a note, but the tilt of a MacBook can change the sound too. Even the trackpad is used like a violin bow. So, you know, the, the harder I do it, and then you can also change the key. With all the controls, it makes sense to double up, as these two are doing. And we can do a fight in the middle of the piece. No, no, I want to do that. No. <laughs> this means to actually tilt the laptop, the laptop left and right. This means to tilt the laptop forward. Two dozen of these special speakers were made just for the concert. Kind of looks like an upside-down salad bowl, because it is. They were assembled by orchestra members themselves from salad bowls found at the local Ikea. With very little dressing, they sound great. Especially outdoors in a Stanford sculpture garden, where the audience experienced something surreal. The computer has afforded us, you know, vast new possibilities in terms of like new sounds, new timbres. We are still kind of in the beginning. We're still figuring out what kind of a beast the laptop orchestra really is and how to compose for it. Why in the key of C for computer? I'm Richard Hart with the next step in music.